Good morning, folks. Papa here. I come down to visit my friend but Logan, my new neighbor. And he's working in, a, in his hot house. I just want to give you a glance. Now, he's tearing all this out. Uh, you can see how huge this thing is. But he's going to take all these out and kind of refigure it for vegetables. This is where they grew hops. Yeah, that's what they used to make beer out of. It. And they've come in and cut the strings. There were strings that come with little rollers up here. See the little white rollers and strings came all the way down attached to these hops boxes. And the hops grew in a little vine all the way up. And you see he's already cut off the strings back and pulled them out of the way. And when he come in here, he says you couldn't even see across this place with all the old hops vines were still hanging. And that's what these are. And uh, they're cleaning it all out and go to try to set it up for vegetables and possibly raised beds. But it's a process of getting all this stuff out of its way. And uh, this thing is huge. Uh, it's gonna be great when they get moved up here and doing this stuff. Hey, I'm able to get my vegetables cheap. <laughs> And over here, these tanks is where the water and the fertilized meat. And they're pumped up through these overlying pipe and piping here. And they come down, and they went down through here. And these little, these little things here has had inserted the fertilized water in on the hops. Now there's no dirt in here at all. That's just perlite. The only thing in here is the roots. Is the roots. That stuff grew just from the fertilizer water out of the out of that perlite. Perlite has no value to it at all except so it just it's soft. And I guess it holds water and stuff. But anyway, the roots expanded in there and they grew up the little vines, up the little strings. And then at harvest time, he would come in and they pick the little flowers or whatever the hops are and sell them to the breweries. And they must be pretty expensive to build all this kind of stuff just for that. But it got kind of an inconvenience for him or whatever. He couldn't do it no longer. So he sold it. And uh, Logan is going to fix this place up. He's in a process. You can see the difference already over here and over here. And they were coming all the way to the ground. And he's cut them back so he kind of see around in here. But he's in the process of cleaning all this out, removing all these boxes for the time being. He's got to dump all that perlite into those bags. Uh, he wants to redo the floor a little bit. It does not have concrete. It's just some kind of a, a rock foundation with this cloth over it. And he wants to come in and clean it up real good. And then come back possibly with the raised beds. I think it's gonna be awesome. And he'll be able to grow vegetables here year round and for the market. Uh, that's what we're talking about this morning, for the market. But anyway, this is, it's awesome. But it's got a job ahead of him. And it's hot in here. He got all the fans running, the door open, but it's still hot in here. And these big things up here in the top, as you see, those are shades. They roll out. They give a little bit of shade at certain times of the day when it gets too hot. They're all the way down. Pretty awesome setup. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. I just want to show y'all a little bit of this. Uh, I asked him if he want to be interviewed. He says, no, he don't have a shirt on and he's dirty. He's been here all morning working. And I understand that. But I just want y'all to see the, what it looks like in here. And like I say, over here, you can see where he's working. How it's all kind of unsorted and stacked up and piled up. He started on this side and he'll work all the way across and he'll empty these 
containers out and you know those garbage bags and then he'll stack all these together these plastic containers another thing about them he showed me if you'll look if they filled up you can see holes in those bottom pipe here those holes well if you get too much fertilizer water it would come out this hole here into those holes there and then it would recirculate pretty neat pretty elaborate all right i'm gonna get out of here oh here he comes here comes my friend logan my new neighbor <laughs> sardines are good for you no sardines are good for you but i'd have to have crackers and and all that kind of stuff for them <laughs> yeah kim gets me sardines every christmas uh she gives me this box we'll have all kinds of stuff in it pig's feet you ever eat pig's feet uh, i don't think so no. oh that'd be good <laughs> you've never eaten pig's feet no. most people have them they're good from my way. I'll try it. You are trying something. I take mine seriously. There's a trick to it. They, they're in this here some kind of, it's almost like a a jelly, but it's not. It's some kind of vinegar type mixture, or whatever. They've been pickled. As soon as you get them, pour that out. Just pour it out. And then put the lid back and set them in the refrigerator for a while. Let them just chill. Crackers and pig's feet. Woo! <laughs> My wife gets mad every time I open up a jar. <laughs> oh, they stink. They stink. Anyway, I just tell them what you're doing, Logan. The job you got going here and what, you, what your plans are. I think it's awesome. I told them, you know, you're growing tomatoes and cucumbers. I'm going to come down and buy some at discount. <laughs> I'm just we'll, we'll give them to you. Oh, no. All right, bud. I appreciate it. This is such a dog. I told them what all you're doing and what it was like when you walked in here. All right, I'm going to cut this off. What is this thing here? Tank of water. Is that from the water supply? Uh, yeah, it's just a, a reserve. Yeah, I see it's a big one. Yeah, over there. Okay. That's where I go swimming. <laughs> go swimming. All right. All right, bud. I'm going to cut this off. I appreciate it. Hey, here comes Ivan out of the gate, bringing his family. I'm so proud of you, Ivan. You just don't understand how proud Popo is. I'm telling you, folks, this guy is smart. He is smart as a, he's sharp as a tack. You ever heard that expression, sharp as a tack? <laughs> You've already ate. You've already ate and you're looking for something else. Ivan, there's nothing back there, son. You've already eaten. Oh, well, I guess. See, you ain't got Sophie thinking or something back there. Yeah. <laughs> Lord, here we go. Here we go. Uh, hey. Oh, no. You do not put your butt on top of Pawpaw. That is not right. Let y'all look here. That's all I get to love on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, that's better. That's better. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, my feet. Why you do me like this? <laughs> okay. I'm going to love you. I'm going to love you best I can. I'm going to love you regardless, Abby. <sighs> I'm sorry, Heidi. I'm pushing Hattie out of the seat trying to back up from this guy. Oh, let's get out of here, Hattie. We can't take no more of that loving. We don't mind rough loving. That's just a little bit too much. Let's go, girls. Come on, Ivan. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's get. You can see that far. Miracle finally realized that she's not a, she's not slow. But she doesn't get in a hurry for nothing. Uh, the goats all lined up at the gate. Ivan and all the goats come pouring out, going to the pasture. Miracle standing over the shade looking at it. 
at some point she realized, hey, you know, my family's left me. I better get. So here she comes. She comes on out, walks across the pasture in a little slow walk, looking around. Once she spots them, then she sets her course to catch up. Now, she'll stay with them the rest of the day. It's just that slow time in the mornings. Maybe it's kind of like me wanting my coffee before I do anything. Maybe she's wanting that little, that little rest time, just to kind of peaceful, by yourself rest. Let them go, Papa. Let them go. I'll catch up. She's a sweetheart. She'll hang with them. Her and Ivy have actually done better in the last week or so, staying with the goats all the time. Oh, here, here she comes. She heard Papa talking about her. <laughs> you hear me talk about your girl? Oh, what a pain in the butt. I'm going to attach this probably to that video with my neighbor. Uh, I went down and chatted with him for a while this morning. He's working in the greenhouse, and y'all see that. And uh, he wants to get a milk cow. I get him a milk cow when he moves up here and get some goats and some bees. The guy's got so many good dreams, good dreams. And if I can, I'm going to help him get what he's trying to get together. I said, well, it's about time. It's about time. Get your butt down here. Laziness. Straight her out, butt. Straight her out. <laughs> yeah, it's about time you got down here with the goats. It's about time. But she does. She takes her sweet time in the mornings, dragging around. Look at her. See, she thinks she's a goat. All the other cows eat grass, but she was raised with goats. And uh, I was looking at some old videos back before I ever went on YouTube that I'd made for myself. And there she was, a little calf browsing with the goats. And look, look at this goat. Now the cows and the horses don't eat on this stuff. They eat grass. Now, in the wintertime, they will clip on some green stuff like this, but not only in the wintertime. These guys, this is this their, it's, this is their main meal right here. This is what they like the best. This is what they like the best. Anyway, I just want y'all to see how lazy she is coming out to catch up with these guys. And uh, little Johnny and little uh, Prince and Duke are in a pen by themselves. I let Granny back out with the goats. I'm going to try to wean Prince. He eats good. Now, I think he's old enough He's to wean. Uh, most folks wean him about two months. He's a little over that. He's about a week or so from being three months, I think. So, that's my if my figures are right, and I'll double check them before I keep them off of her very long. <laughs> you gotta double check your figures, Papa. But anyway, uh, there's, I gotta keep uh, Duke away from these nannies. I don't, these girls, I don't want him breeding none of them right now. Uh, we got lots of question marks ahead of us, you know, on the weather and the dryness and being able to, if, if don't do well and you know being able to feed everything and I don't need a bunch of babies running around trying to worry about them too I don't want to have to put them all out to market you know that's something I don't want to do so he's separated and Johnny's keeping him company and they keep each other company and now Prince is in there with him also and we'll see how it works out look at that goat most cows or out he's grazed in the pasture. We got about an inch of rain. Uh, it it helped a lot. It's not near as hot. They say the heat's coming back, but just that one inch of rain has just made everything feel better. It made everything feel better. The grass even looks a little greater. And it will help the grass a little bit. It's not gonna last long if we don't get no more, but it will help. It will kind of prolong uh, the grass. In low places, it'll, do, it'll help even better. Where the water would puddle, uh, it'll even do better. All right, I'm going to cut this off and talk to my boy here. 
He's such a pretty boy. Can't help but love this guy as bad as he is. As bad as he is. You know, I let him, him out in the front yard this morning. And <laughs> he goes straight there out. He's, he, why are you so late? He immediately went over to where I do gifts and goodies. They started digging through. The, I had a couple of boxes up there seeing if he could find some more cookies. And he did. He found a box that hadn't been opened. He grabs that box and he starts shaking it like crazy trying to tear that box open. Well, I had to open it and give him some cookies. All right, I'm going to cut this off, folks, and let you guys go. Catch y'all later. Hey, folks, I hope y'all enjoy that little time with uh, my neighbor, Logan. Uh, his wife wasn't there this morning. I think her name is Caroline. They such sweet people, seems to be. I think they're going to be great neighbors. Um, I wanted y'all to see the greenhouse, and he was generous enough and to let us come in and look it all over. Um, I thought it was pretty awesome in there, and he's got a lot of work to fix it back up and to fix it the way he wants it to be. Uh, structurally wise I think it's a really good shape you know you just got a lot of cleanup to do and uh, those things that those pots like are in there are not going to work for what he wants to do uh, he plans on raised beds if that is feasible for him to do uh, a lot of work to do you gotta, and you got to clean almost all that stuff out of there to come back in and build it like he wants it. And uh, I'm sure he's going to do a great job. He's a hard worker. And uh, I really enjoy chatting with him. It's just, he's just a good guy to chat with. And uh, he was telling me he wants to get him a milk cow. He came by yesterday and he and I was talking and asking about milk cows and stuff and <laughs> he's never milked a cow but he's willing to learn and uh so i'm sure when he gets moved in up there they'll end up having a milk cow i'm sure they're gonna have some goats and, he, and they want to get some bees i might be able to help him on the bees and uh maybe help him on some goats but uh depending on what kind he wants but anyway, he, he got a lot of work to do. The place is left in a really a big mess. The greenhouses are physical or structurally they're in good shape. A uh, couple of little problems he's got to work out, but mainly just cleaning. And then uh, trying to clear this pasture all out behind him so he can have some cows and, and some things. Goats could survive in there like it is. Cows need. They need some grass. They need some grazing. And uh, that's something he's willing to do. So I think they're going to be great neighbors. Great neighbors. I'll catch you guys later. Y'all hope you enjoy this little video. It's not long. Uh, again, we're without internet because of Kippy. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get it back up today. So I'm having to go down to Buddy's to upload these videos. Uh, takes a little bit longer down there. I uh, went to Kim's last night and uploaded a video, that was the Saturday video. And uh, of course we had a good time with her. And Kenny come by, cousin Kenny, we all told stories and laughed for a while. I'll pass some of those stories on to you guys and later on. <laughs> that was something funny. I'll catch you guys later. Y'all take care.